she can surprise us. <laughs> okay, Helene, what do you think? I'm ready, sir. You are ready? So, the marriage has obligations and duties. And you have to know what are your obligations and what are your duties before getting into marriage. The rights and duties of the spouses. States. A marriage is a contract from which flow rights and duties. Article 212 states that spouses owe each other respect, fidelity, support and assistance. Article 213 states the husband is the head of the family. He performs this function in the common interest of the household. Spouses are responsible together for the material and moral guidance of the family. They shall provide for the education of the children and shall prepare their future. The wife replaces the husband as head of family if he is unable to manifest his will because of his incapacity, absence, distance, or any other cause. Article 214 states that where the marriage contract does not stipulate the contributions of the spouses to the marriage expenses, they shall contribute to them in proportion to their respective means. The obligation to assume one's duties weighs principally on the husband. He is obliged to provide the woman with all that is necessary for the needs of life according to his capacities. The wife also contributes to the expenses of the marriage. Where one spouse does not fulfill his or her obligations, he or she may be compelled by the other to do so as provided for in the Civil Procedure Code, Article 864. Article 215 states, the choice of the residence of the family belongs to the husband. The woman is obliged to live with him and he is obliged to accommodate her. When the residence hereby fixed for the family presents physical or moral dangers, the wife may exceptionally be authorized to have for her and the children another residence fixed by the judge. Lastly, Article 220 states that the married woman has under all the regimes the power to represent the husband for the needs of the household and to use for this purpose the funds which he leaves at her disposal. According to Cameron Law, a marriage is a contract between a man and a woman. Whereas in some other countries, as in this country, marriage is a contract between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman. Support her in terms of pain and happiness, and provide for her the best of your ability, till death do you apart. Do you accept Ngwa Elin Binwi as your lawful wife? Yes, I accept. <laughs> Miss Ngwa Elin Binwi, do you accept to take Mr. Numfo Adman Ngwa as your lawful husband, live with him for the rest of your life, for better and never for worse, support him in times of pain and happiness, and assist him the best of your ability till death do you apart? Do you accept Mr. Num Numfo Adman Gwa? Yes, I accept. Yes, it is already sealed. I accepted my friendship wholeheartedly. And I told myself that the only way to say thank you is making me. 
Today, with this ring, I promise you that I will forever love you. I will cherish you. I will adore you. And I will not allow another woman to come. To the best of my knowledge, it's our bond. That every single day as I look your hand, I see this, I will remember the, the promises and this moment. And I will shall ever live with the promises I've made for you. Me in person, the friends, the community. Even though we are still in the process, but so far so good. You are so supportive and you are so protective. I will forever respect you as the father of the house. As the man that you are. And I pray that as this symbol of love that I'm holding here in front of everyone, I love you with all my heart. And I will forever love and respect you. I pray for long life in our among ourselves. I pray for more understanding and more wisdom. Amen. Amen. I love you. Ignition entrepreneur, business people, traveler, Foku Media is your channel. Subscribe, like, and share. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alphonse Foku. Guys, do you know today I'm taking Atman and Elin to court? Actually, I'm taking them to the embassy why because today they have decided in front of everybody in front of their parents friends sisters and brothers to tight the lifetime knot for you to know much about it i'm inviting you to stay tuned on this video till the very end it's a very long video but you're going to enjoy it, believe me. <laughs> Guys, this day will be memorable. Memorable for Atman and Elin. For me and for you, today could be a day of learning. Believe me, watch this video till the end. Give me a comment below of what you have learned.
Good afternoon to everyone, uh, and uh, good afternoon to Numfo, Atman, Ngwa, and uh, Ngwa, Elin, Binwi, right? Yes. Uh, maybe my pronunciation is not very good. Mumfo. And another uh, one, Numfo, Atman, Ngwa. What's happening? One I sing what I sing Yes, that's the big story. Okay, thank you. Uh, you are welcome. This is the Kamunai Commission. We are covering 14 countries. And uh, the High Commissioner is uh, His Excellency Mr. Uh, Mr. Anwar Gele Solomon Azombi, uh, who is uh, currently in Cameroon. You should feel at home when you are here. This is the first announcement. Is that when you come here, you should feel like you are even more than at home in South Africa here. So yes, it's a place where you should feel more secure, more at ease, more at the high, the high, the high condition. Yeah, because you can find difficulty outside. I see there's an operational you call what do do la or what, and so many many things, many challenges. 
But the High Commission is the only place where a communion comes and is, is can now start laughing, can now start enjoying. <coughs> That's the only place. Mr. Numfo Atman Ngwa and uh, <coughs> Miss Ngwa Elin Binwi. It's a big contract between you and us here. I'm going to sign a contract uh, in two dimensions, a verbal contract and a written, a written contract. The verbal contract is about vowing, taking a vow, taking engagement, verbally, orally, to say, yes, I engage myself into this. And now the written contract will be done when you write the register document that will be sent to Cameroon. Okay. So the first contract is now to know each other. You want to know who you are. You also you want to know us. The course celebrant, right? Because so you don't know who am I. The first exercise is to introduce ourselves to you. And the second exercise is for how to introduce you to, to, to us and to other people also who are invited. I'm Colonel Dr. Mintia Denis Paul. I'm second counselor in this embassy. Embassy and high commission is the same thing, right? When you say embassy and high commission, it's the same mean the same thing. It's just um, uh, the way of uh, calling. So in here, you call it a uh, high commission. In France, we call embassy. In the United States, embassy is different. Of the... So in this embassy, I'm now the first second counselor. I'm also the coordinator of consular services. And uh, I am a civil status registrar. I sworn in uh, before the Tribunal of First Instance uh, Administrative Center in Cameroon, Yaoundé. And um, to have with me as co celebrant Mrs. Uh, B. Ndenecho. Yes, she is a consular officer. She is a civil status registrar. She also sworn in before the same tribunal in Yaoundé. So, we are doing this job according to the law, in due quality. Today is the 5th of April 2024. Here present before us is Mr. Numfo Artman Ngwa and Ms. Ngwa Elin Binwi. He is a businessman by profession, residing here in Pretoria. The parents are Mr. Ngwa John and Mama Lum Innocencia. He has brought as head of family Mr. Ambe Ignatius Niba and as his witness Mama Ngwa Epuzo Niba Margaret Bihi. Miss Ngwa Elin Binwe, she's a designer by profession and resides here in Pretoria. She has brought before us as head of family, Mr. Abenui Fombe Ngwa and Mr. Peter Shu Nyamboli as her witness. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, brilliant uh, presentation to the couple. So marriage is a contract between two individuals, two persons as a whole. Uh, a marriage is a contract between two persons who decide to join, to be together for life or for a part of life. Yeah. To say that in some countries, you can get married for five years, to make a contract that are going to get married for five years. After five years, you separate everybody takes its way, his way or her way. So, but according to Cameroon law, a marriage is a contract between a man and a woman. Whereas in some other countries, as in this country, marriage is a contract between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman. But now, Cameroon didn't want to do abomination, that's why they decide to do a marriage between a man and a woman in order to go through abomination. Uh, so, the first thing we want to be sure of 
is if Mr. Numfor Adman Nwa is really a man, <laughs> and if Ms. Nwa Elin Binwi is really a woman, the first thing we have to check we are not sure we cannot proceed. How we are going to do it, we are going to find a way. But we have to be sure in order not to violate our law. Okay. The first verification is towards yourself. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a man. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman, sir. Okay. The second level of verification is the families. Head of family. Yes, yeah, a man. Yes, a man. Head of family here. And the entire community. Is she a man or a woman? A man, huh? Ah, I, I thought you showed a man. <laughs> okay. I think now. Another verification is a visual verification. We can see it, right? Yes. By eyes. Even if some people go and change their faces and so on, but we can see that with the verification of the families, they are with a man and a woman. Now we can proceed. We shouldn't have family uh, relation ties between the man and the woman. She's not your sister, right? She's not your brother. Okay, good. And the family can also, okay, because the law uh, says there's no marriage between, according to the ordinance of uh, uh, 1981, 29 June 1981, and even the law of 2011. So, another thing is that, have you paid bride price? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to be sure with that. Did he, did he pay something? <laughs> he paid. He paid. Okay. Okay, he paid the right price, right? Uh, that's, good. that's a good thing, but before 1966, it was compulsory. It was obligatory to pay the right price in Cameroon before 1966. Very long time before you were born. So, but from 1966 to now, it, was, it has been cancelled. There's no bread price. It's not obligatory now. You can pay or not, according to the law. So when you come be, uh, before us, even if you didn't pay, no problem. Or you pay, you don't care. So the marriage has obligations and duties. And you have to know what are your obligations and what are your duties before getting to marriage. Yes, and you have to be sure that you know exactly what is expected to you, from you, when you get married. So I would like to give the floor to the Honorable Secretary to tell us what are your rights and what are your obligations. Respective rights and duties of the spouses. States. A marriage is a contract from which flow rights and duties. Article 212 states that spouses owe each other respect, fidelity, support, and assistance. Article 213 states the husband is the head of the family. He performs this function in the common interest of the household. Spouses are responsible together for the material and moral guidance of the family. They shall provide for the education of the children and shall prepare their future. The wife replaces the husband as head of family if he is unable to manifest his will because of his incapacity, absence, distance, or any other cause. Article 214 states that where the marriage contract does not stipulate the contributions of the spouses to the marriage expenses, they shall contribute to them in proportion to their respective means. The obligation to assume one's duties weighs principally on the husband. 
he is obliged to provide the woman with all that is necessary for the needs of life according to his capacities. The wife also contributes to the expenses of the marriage. Where one spouse does not fulfill his or her obligations, he or she may be compelled by the other to do so as provided for in the Civil Procedure Code, Article 864. Article 215 states, the choice of the residence of the family belongs to the husband. The woman is obliged to live with him and he is obliged to accommodate her. When the residence hereby fixed for the family presents physical or moral dangers, the wife may exceptionally be authorized to have for her and the children another residence fixed by the judge. Lastly, Article 220 states that the married woman has under all the regimes the power to represent the husband for the needs of the household and to use for this purpose the funds which he leaves at her disposal. Thank you. After this reading, this exercise, uh, the purpose is for you after listening to tell us if you are still <laughs> and found that this law is very strong. We didn't know that it was like that. Before coming, we didn't know that it was so strong. Ah, ah. How can me, uh, ah, ah. how can you, 212, read it again. Article 212, spouses owe each other respect, fidelity, support, and assistance. Hi. It is so strong. So I should have only my wife. And my dozen bureau, what will I do now? <laughs> it's a big problem. What is going to engage is say, we are going to, it's a vow, it's not a, a joke that we are going to do today. So he is about to think very deeply. If you had deuxième bureau to know that it's finished today. Except we stop the marriage, or we will choose another, we we'll see. But this, these are these kind of things. Uh, I know that's not the case for you, for you. I know that is not the case. I hope that's not the case. So I want to ask you are you ready for us to proceed? Or if you want, you can stop. People will go, no problem. The, the family, they will be very sad, but we can't do anything because if you are not ready because of this, well, we can postpone. And come the come next time and celebrate it next time, maybe next year or two years when you'll be ready or not. So uh, I know that it's very strong, but it's the law. If we are not prepared, tell us so that we stop celebrating now. And what do you think? Are you ready or not? Can we proceed? Oh, it's okay. We are listening to you. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm ready. We can proceed. Okay, let her listen to her. She can surprise us. <laughs> okay, Eileen, what do you think? I'm ready, sir. You are ready? Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Distinguished secretary, you have the floor. Uh, we received the application for marriage uh, celebration on the 20th of June, 2023. And for unforeseen circumstances, we are now in 2024, the 5th of April. From then to up to now, there has been no opposition. No opposition? Oh. <laughs> if there is somebody here present who is against this marriage, he has the right to raise his hand, to raise his hand, and to tell us that he's against his marriage because of it. But if, if there's somebody, I will not stop everything. We we'll stop the celebration and we we'll stop it. That is the law. So, please, if there's somebody, if there's somebody who is against that marriage,
Just raise your hand up and I will give you the call. Is there somebody who wanna uh, raise your hand? Yes? No, no, it's not your hand. <laughs> You can applaud because Naz is there. That's very good. Congratulations. Yeah. When uh, everybody is okay, we here we are okay, and God is okay. That's good. God bless you. Okay. According to the canon law, what we call monogamy and polygamy. Have you heard about that? There's a communion legal system. So, uh, I want to be sure. Do you know what's the before? Do you know what is the polygamy, monogamy, and polygamy? Yes. You also know. But it's, it's better for me to check, to make a small examination, okay, to be sure. Because according to the law, I have to be sure. If not, I cannot proceed before you choose. So, I will make a small test. In this way, I will define those two terms, okay? And now you will tell me. A monogamy is a system whereby a man can take two or many wives. I want to repeat. A monogamy <laughs> is a legal system whereby a man can take two or many wives. This is monogamy. I think we are okay for that, right? <laughs> we, can cross. we are okay, right? Monogamy is single wife. Polygamy is multiple. Okay, polygamy is multiple wife. Yeah. That means from four to ten. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be back. To infinity. Okay. As you can see, they know what is polygamy and mono. Yeah, that's very good. Ah, they have knowledge. Let us know exactly what is polygamy and monogamy. What do you choose? Monogamy or polygamy? Uh, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Yeah, look. He decided to choose both. That means he said it's divided. He said it's still divided, right? <laughs> Unfortunately. I only have the option to choose one. Poly uh, so as I can choose one, it means I am signing for polygamy. Monogamy. Huh? Monogamy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you are very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eileen is not afraid. I know that Eileen is not afraid. She can surprise us. Yeah, now Eileen, what do you choose? You are not obliged to follow him, eh? You can surprise us now because we need surprise us. We need surprise sometimes. So you can surprise us. He chose, he has chosen what? Uh, monogamy. But you can surprise us, why not? Uh, as the father of the house and as the mother, I'll, I'll follow the father. So I choose monogamy. Ah, you choose? <laughs> I choose monogamy. She is hesitating. She doesn't want to choose. What, to choose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you choose? They don't hear you uh, back there. They are, everybody has to hear you in this hall. It's not a joke. Yeah? Take time and tell us. Yeah? Oh, it's a motion. <laughs> So we have on one side what we call joint property, community of property, and the other side, separate property, separation of property. Meaning what? If you choose joint property, everything you are going to gather, everything you are going to build, all your riches, everything will be joined together for both of you. So there's no separation. 
Your salary will be will be here, her salary. Your salary will be his salary. Your 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 phone will be her phone. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Yeah. There's nothing to do. If you choose that regime. So if you choose that regime, that's why you have to think deeply before choosing. Don't regret after that. Hey, my phone. Hiya. So your phone becomes her phone if you choose that regime. That means if you are taking a bath huh, and your phone is in the room and she's there and it's ringing, don't run quickly and with your stop. You are not giving her. No. You say, okay, maybe you can answer. Yeah. Yeah, she will answer. Where are we, Chantal? Where are you? No problem, but she has to answer. Okay? And we have separate property, meaning that salary is your salary and everything. So if you have your salary, she doesn't need to know how much you are, you are earning. But in the common property uh, regime, the woman has to know exactly your salary. It's because it is her salary. It is for her. So you cannot hide your salary or other advantages, not only salary, because you can have any other advantages. You have to tell her. Your business is giving this. Tell her, yes, our business is this. Uh, this month you are going to do like this. Next month you are going to do like this. This is a common property because it belongs to her. And what is for you belongs to him. And the other precision is that with the common property, everything that you had before marriage belongs to is separate. If you build your house, you are reaching before that marriage is for you only. It also, except you build it together. But it's separate. It's only the things that you are going to have from now on that will belong to the community. So, this is what we call common property and joint property. So I want to start with the woman now because it says things of money, don't joke. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give the honor to uh, Eileen. So what do you choose? Joint property or common property? Joint property. Huh? Joint property. She said what? Joint property. Very good. Let us applaud. <laughs> joint property or, or separate property? Uh, joint property. <laughs> okay. She's writing. And what this right hand is writing, there's nothing to do after this. Nothing. That way, the people don't like this right hand. It's finished for life. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Noon for Admangwa. Do you accept to take Miss Ngwa Elin Binwi as your lawful wife? Live with her for the rest of your life for better and never for worse, according to me. Amen. Support her in times of pain and happiness and provide for her the best of your ability till death do you apart. Do you accept Ngwa Elin Binwi as your lawful wife? Yes, I accept. Everybody heard you. God also is there listening to you. It's recorded. So remind. Every time, every day of your life, remind. I said, I said this in front of the Lord. 
and people. Miss Ngwa Elin Binwi, do you accept to take Mr. Numfo Adman Ngwa as your lawful husband? Live with him for the rest of your life, for better and never for worse. Support him in times of pain and happiness, <coughs> and assist him the best of your ability till death do you apart. Do you accept, Mr. Nung Nung for Adman Gua? Yes, I accept. <laughs> Yes, it is already sealed. There's nothing to do. The word has gone. So God bless you and give you the strength not to renounce what, what we have said today. In the name of Jesus. You can proceed with the other verses. Throughout this life that I've been living, that God has provided for me up to this day, from the day I knew you up to today, you have always stood by me in my worst and my best moment. Really? Even before I made the decision from day one that you will become my wife is because of the sacrifices that you did for me. Regardless that I was nobody, I had nothing, but still you genuinely accepted my friendship wholeheartedly. Nice. And I told myself that the only way to say thank you is making me my wife. <laughs> Today, with this ring, I promise you that I will forever love you. I will cherish you. I will adore you. And I will not allow another woman to come. Bring as I will put through to you, to the best of my knowledge, it's our bond. That every single day as I look your hand, I see this, I will remember the, the promises and this moment, and I will shall ever live with the promises I've made for you. family, me in person, a friends, the community. Even though we are still in the process, but so far so good. You are so supportive and you are so protective. I will forever respect you as the father of the house, as the man that you are. And I pray that as this symbol of love that I'm holding here in front of everyone, I love you with all my heart. And I will forever love and respect you. I pray for long life in our, among ourselves. I pray for more understanding and more wisdom. Amen. I love you. The signing of the registry, as I told you, is a contract. 
between you and us and among you is about the two families to join together by writing something here. That's why every family would write, would sign, that we are signing, they are binding the two families and the couple. So I'm giving her the floor to the Honorable Secretary to go and sign and see the contract. Show. 
Okay, now that we have uh, both family have been involved in this contract, uh, everything is set, everything is done so that we can finalize this uh, marriage celebration by the words that I'm going to pronounce to seal uh, definitely this marriage. The day you celebrate your marriage, you put this thing, and you have this paper, you can change many things. Many. There are women who are just waiting for this day to show their face, to show who they are. But before that marriage, she, oh, baby, I love you. Huh? But the day, oh, I will show you who I am now. <laughs> you don't know me. And things change completely. <laughs> but if they have been living for 20 years, by the day they put this thing, it can change mind of men. So it's a very important day and you have to be very careful. So not let the devil come and come in. So for you to solve that problem is to put love in the heart of your marriage. Love only advice I can give is love. Love your heart in, in so in a extent that you can sacrifice your life for her. You, have to, you, you should be able to sacrifice I think, your own life for her because you become one what? One flesh. That means you can sacrifice your life for yourself, right? So because she's you, she's your flesh, so you have to sacrifice your life for her. It's very deep when you say to love. A love is not people are just taking lightly. It's not. A, 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 it's a very strong word. And when you it comes to God's perspective, when you come to God, is another level, dimension of love. You see how what Jesus God did for to love the world to prove that He loved the world. He did what He died for them. He sacrificed His own body, His every all, all of His to save the humanity. That's what you call love, to sacrifice yourself. So I want you to put love in your midst. And when there's we love, nobody can come and destroy you, nobody. When you will love you, nobody. What do they do? How can you, you, have, you have only, because they will see only one person. They go to her, they see you. They go to you, they see her. So there's no way to come and gossip and say, hey, you say, you are wise. Hey, or you say, there's no way to say that. Because you become one. And nobody can come and destroy you. Nobody. The devil cannot destroy you. 
Because the devil doesn't like when there's love, genuine love. When there's genuine love, the devil, the devil cannot enter. How will we do? When there's a genuine love, real love, he cannot. It's not it's possible, impossible. So the love is at the center of everything. Love yourself, you forgive easily. When you do something wrong, ah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, baby, I love you. And you continue. You repair it, you continue. You fix it, you continue. And anything, everything will be fine. And the love will bring us you will bring you progress. Yes, in everything you are doing. If you are in business sector, progress, business will just go straight. But above all, what will help you really to succeed in everything in your life is to give your life to Jesus. I cannot celebrate him without telling you that give your life to Jesus, you will see. You will see the wonderful things that will happen in your life. In terms of business, everything that we do. God is God. Is I've experienced it myself in myself. So I'm telling you what I know. Everything you will do will succeed. If you are serious, you want to give the floor to both uh, families. I'll Thank you. I want to advise my son and daughter. They don't join today. Say, we the family will be very happy for take the full step where we as parents will don't take them. So the advice, me I advise you say, the advice where the mayor don't give way in an office, he don't really give an all. So me I be very happy. So when I listen for your advice and then listen to for advice, so we'll be very happy. So when I stay happily for our marriage, so that when I go uh, plant and tool for your own children, children. Yeah. Right. Yeah, very nice advice. I hope that it ended, right? Yeah. You have to take it. Very important. Yeah? yeah. I'm being very happy for today. Yeah. Advice for you, you don't talk. I like it. The first thing for your Bible, and for respect others. We wanna do on respect with ourselves. So I know if they talk go far because they don't talk then. <laughs> Thank you for the good step you have taken. You have taken my sister, my daughter, and she is my granddaughter. Um Peter Shunyamboni. My dear sister, my daughter, and my granddaughter. Respect your husband. Love him. And I believe if you do all those things, this gentleman will sacrifice everything for you. I believe in love. But before love, we put God first. And everything will go smoothly. I bless you people and I'm so happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. And salute everyone. Yeah. And our able mayor. Thank you. Uh, we all will really be appreciate for today that my daughter, mm. Mama Eileen, it already pushed me effort more than day today with the uh, mm. At least we are really appreciate. We are really appreciate it. Thank, you. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Victory to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please leave them alone. If you don't have anything good to say to them. Leave them alone. If you don't have anything good to add to them, leave them alone. There's no house that does not have a problem. They said in the Bible that every level, a new devil. You have gotten married today, you have signed the regime. There's a new devil that has come into the game. Normally, people will say, behind every man. It's not behind. Beside any man is a powerful intercessor. That is what I'm going to say. You will take the word of God seriously because God does not break his word. He honors his word above his name. So you can say Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, whatever. But if you don't say the word of God, it will not work. So you have to spend time as a family studying the word of God. Because when you have the word of God in you, 
then you become a powerful warrior to fight every battle. Before you take any step, discuss it amongst yourself, bring it before God. God is a negotiator. He does, listen, the Bible says ask. Asking is praying. And it's for those people who are, are babies. You people are now adults. Seek God. When you seek God, you go, you negotiate with God. Hannah negotiated with God before you, she obtained what she wanted. You negotiate with God. That God, if I do this to you, this is the, what I'm expecting. God will honor you as you do it genuinely. So honor God in every step. Bring up your children in the way of the Lord. We are not in Cameroon. We are out of, you see, we are in a different world with different cultures. What is that culture that you are going to bring into your home that will nourish your home, that will bring you fulfillment, that will bring you honor and respect? Honor your parents so that your days may be long. Your children will look up to you. They will follow your ways. And they will become better citizens. God bless you. Thank you. Room four. Atman Ngwa. And uh, Mrs. Not Miss now, but Mrs. Ngwa Elin Binui Epus Numfo. In accordance with the communion law and by virtue of the powers conferred to us, we solemnly declare you husband and wife. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Together. Together. Those who are taking picture, they can take picture. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Lord. You have made everything successful today. We are now back to the house. We are waiting for the dating for the last celebration. Allah, 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 
Sengwa Aka Sengwa Ale Amwa Lili 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 Oh, 